briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1938, the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania heard the case Miller v. Lutheran Conference and Camp Assen, a dispute over the rights to boating, bathing, and fishing in the artificial Lake Naomi, which was created by the Pocono Spring Water Ice Company. The company granted exclusive use of the lake and its privileges to Frank C. Miller, who shared them with his brother Rufus W. Miller. However, after Rufus W. Miller's death, licenses were granted without reference to each other, leading to a conflict between Frank C. Miller and the executors of Rufus W. Miller's estate. The court had to determine whether the privileges associated with the lake were assignable or divisible. They analyzed the deed and considered the brothers' commercial use of the lake for activities such as boating and bathing. Between 1900 and Rufus W. Miller's death in 1925, the brothers had exclusive and undisputed use of the lake privileges. The lower court granted an injunction to prevent the defendant from trespassing, erecting structures, and granting any bathing licenses. The plaintiffs filed a motion to dismiss the appeal, but the court rejected it. In the end, the Supreme Court upheld the previous decision, ruling that the lake privileges were assignable but not divisible, and that the defendant was not entitled to a license from Rufus W. Miller's estate. The defendant was required to pay the costs. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.